What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into uh, this is my bad, wrong, <laughs> wrong video. This is uh, so real tea. Um, Jazz getting surgery or something. Let's what go. is up, so real gang? How are we doing today? Let's get into the video today. Easy has finally announced that she has proposed to natalie and she said yes you guys all know that natalie and easy has been best friends for a long time and a few years ago they decided to take their relationship to the next level and make it official as girlfriend and girlfriend well now they're officially getting married engaged to getting married and i that cannot wait so the good. ceremony was so beautiful it easy was. had her family there and everything was just was well amazing. thought out the ring is gorgeous yeah. but you guys leave your comments down below and let us know what you think about this let's get into jazz Jazz. Yesterday, Jazz posted a video and let us know that she is getting surgery. She stated that she has been going to the doctor since February to just do her follow-ups before her actual surgery, which will be a hysterectomy. She stated mm. that she does not want to carry her children, and this has been something that she's been pondering on her mind for a while now. Oh, damn. Is she getting a hysterectomy before me? <laughs> this nigga. I don't know how old Jazz is. She in her twenties. Yeah, um, I'm not keeping my uterus because I want to have a baby. I just don't. I don't want to. Uh, -uh. <laughs> I don't like surgery. I don't see how people be like. Yeah, I'm about to. I'm about to go get surgery. Maybe she has painful periods, or maybe she's getting more into her dominant side. I don't know. But that's a hell of a surgery right there she did state that if she does want to have kids she'll be able to use her eggs and get a surrogate or whatever the case may be but you guys comment down below and let us know what you think about this have anyone ever gotten this let us know what you think about this has anyone gotten this surgery before and if so comment down below and let us know how did it go but make sure you guys head over to her channel to see the full video and hear what she has to say Good wah wah. Okay, bro, like I was saying, I know y'all see that title, y'all probably like, oh my god, what is going on? Is it the worst? Look, y'all, it is nothing like that at all. But your girl is finna have a hysterectomy. If you don't know what a hysterectomy is, it's when they pull the uterus out of the JJ and it stops your cycles, your periods, and stuff like that. You feel me? You can no longer produce kids or none of that stuff. You feel me? And honestly, bro, it's been on my mind for like the last couple months. But like in February, I really put it like, you feel me? In tech, I really, you know what I'm saying? Set up that doctor's appointment. I really been going to doctor's appointment after doctor's appointment after doctor's appointment since February, y'all. You feel me? Had to start off with a pad, run all these different tests to make sure my body is good, to make sure there's no cancerous things in the uterus and all this stuff, man. Y'all don't even know how many appointments I did and all this stuff, man. Y'all don't even know how many appointments I didn't had since February, bro. Like, no cap. I ain't talked to nobody about this. Like, I really been keeping it to myself. Like, I literally just told my close friends, like, a couple days ago. You feel me? I'm telling y'all, I'm opening up to y'all because y'all gonna see my journey, bro. Like, y'all know I like to record. I'm not just not gonna give y'all no content because I'm damn. That's a hell of a surgery, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because I just had surgery and I just can't pop about the blue. Like, oh my god, y'all had surgery without telling my people what I had surgery on. So, for me, y'all, mentally, I never, ever, ever, ever want to push out my own child. I've already mentally accepted that at a young age, you feel me? It's Shit, me too. Uh, I don't want to do it. Not for me, bro. It's just not. Like, I just feel like my mental would not hold up, and that's okay. Mine you got to know what's meant for you and what's Word. not meant for you. You know what I'm saying? And me, <laughs> That's the realest shit I've heard this year. Like, y'all think it's just a body thing. Well, hell, your mental is your body, but, like, it's a nigga. Y'all know what I mean. I really don't think my body will hold up in my mind. Mm-mm. That postpartum shit. Mm -mm. Nah. Some of us was meant to do a lot of things, you know? But that's not one of them for me. Carrying a child? Hell no, nah, bro. Hell no. Nah. But look, but a beautiful thing and a great thing is my eggs will still be 100% there. You feel me? They're not removing my eggs. They're not touching my eggs at all, bro. My eggs will be there. So I can still do IVF with my wife in the future whenever I decide to have a child or if I just want to, or even if I want a surrogate or anything, bro, I can still use my eggs. They are fine and dandy. They are great, healthy, and in good shape. You feel me? She found one thing that was kind of by my uterus. It's called a fibroid. I don't know if y'all know what a fibroid mm. is, but if you go on Google and you look it up it's like these little tiny yeah, little like rock fibroid. things in the JJ. and she said i had one she said it was on the outside muscle kind of like that one right there she said it was kind of small like a 1.5 to 1. Point. i don't know these terms i'm not a doctor she said it was very small it has nothing to do with cancer um everything is good she said but she will pull it out when she pulled out the uterus with it so it's not there at all fibroids tend to cause horrible period pains cramps yeah. and that's one thing i didn't had since i had a cycle since i was 12 years old y'all i Bad 
so now I understand. Shit, me too, though. But, um, yeah, them fiber was tethered. Boy, what? Get sick, bro. I be throwing up, my back hurting. I overblowed. Um, I be sick than a dog the first day, y'all. Like, damn near to the second day. Like, I'm in the bathroom throwing up all day. I never could take nothing down. My appetite be gone. I always get mm. the throwing up to my damn stomach lining. And that's why she mm. wanted to do an ultrasound on me, because she wanted to make sure that my stomach lining and everything was good. I'm going to throw the video in here when I went to the ultrasound place. Yeah, because that's going to be my first and last one, bro. That shit feel weird as hell. Uh, shout out to all my ladies who carry children, because y'all strong, bro. It, it felt very weird, bro. You feel me? I see myself never, ever, ever carrying a child, bro. I can't do it. I know my mental is not there to even do that or go through that process. So to the women who can do it, you are very mentally strong. You are okay, spiritually oh strong. All praise. You feel me? All oh praise. I really give it up to them because, like, y'all, it's a lot. You feel me? Your girl can barely make it through the path. You know? That shit hurt. You talking about a whole human head coming out the... I'm cold. Oh. I'm already uncomfortable at a doctor oh. when his doctor's looking in between my legs. Like, I'm already put up and stuff. Like, I don't... Uh, <laughs> It ain't for me. It ain't for me, y'all. It's just not for me, bro. Some stuff for some people, and that is not for me, bro. Having a child is not for me, bro. I just cannot do it, bro. And Let's get into Amar. Amar, <laughs> she was going in. You hear me? Listen, y'all. On my period, my first day, y'all know I be all the way bent. That's another reason why I had to get me a second, um, a second setup in the house because normally I can just lay in the bed, cramp, go through whatever the hell I gotta go through. I can get up, knock out a video to lay my ass back down in that bed. Can't do that at the office. So, um, yeah, I, it was so many reasons why I had to get a second setup. However, um, my last period was, it was actually smooth as hell. I pray that this one is. Okay. Um, but yeah, here we, here we Took are. Took to Twitter that. last night and stated, if you ain't making my life better, I don't want you around me. He stated, Damn, five, a itch six, never nine. held it down for me. And that's why I am the way I am. And then he made another post that he actually deleted and stated, I like a girl with some hustle in her. You lazy itches ain't good for ish. You guys leave your comments down below and let me know what you think. Well, make sure you he said what it is that he needed to say. He's seen it, everything that he needed to see, okay? I don't blame him. Um, I will say what I realized is, you know, not everybody can keep up with you. You know what I'm saying? Everybody cannot keep up with me, especially. I'm just a different type of person. Um, but so are you. So is everybody else. Everybody should think that they really like that. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know. I think that Amara is better off without her. And I, I say that because she's going to get out of that pain and she's going to realize she's better without him as well. Um, sometimes we just don't vibrationally connect and that's okay. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.